So I'm going to get an update on a trail camera I put in a little over two months ago. After I put that camera in, I came back a week later and checked it, and I had a couple of fawns on there. I'm pretty sure I had a young buck on there. I just wanted to get in there and see what was traveling back and forth. I wasn't sure if it was a human access trail or if it was physically just a deer trail. I want to keep an eye on this specific location and see how the deer are traveling on this trail. Because the plan is early archery season, I'm looking for this to be another good spot to set up. About three quarters of the way up the mountain, which is about a quarter of a mile. Now originally we started scouting this mountain from the top down. And about three quarters of the way up, there's some good oak flats up there. We found a good transition where there was a bunch of community scrapes and rubs and some good access points into bedding. So we followed this trail down and I decided to put a camera in and we can access this trail from two or three different ways, either from the top of the mountain or from the highway down that direction. And we're gonna get it figured out before early archery season. So let's go get a look at this camera and see what's going on. I figured today's a good day to get in here and do this because we get some rain coming through. Everything's wet. And it'll keep my scent down a little bit. Now you can see how heavy this trail is. There's three trails just like this that run parallel together. And they all meet about halfway up this mountain. They all meet together. It's starting to get pretty thick in here. Everything's getting really green. Now right here's that other trail where these two trails meet. It turns into this one trail. And right here's my camera. Wow. I was wondering where that got to. That's my big rig key, my secondary key. Shoot, I was looking for that. I used that to open my my side compartment doors on my rig. <laughs> oh, glad I found that. Good deal. Obviously nobody's been up here. Because that stuck out like a sore thumb. Alright, let's get this thing checked out. See what's going on in here. I'll just make this real quick. Oh, we got something good on here. Some good deer on there. There we got a buck. Nice. No, it isn't. It's not a buck. That's a doe. Oh, we got some turkeys on there. Look at that. Yeah, there's one of the fawns. Yeah, we're getting some good pictures on there. All right. Well, that's me. Well, we're getting some daylight pictures, so that's a good thing. All right. Well, that's good, and we're just gonna let that in here. I'll come back in another month or so and check it again. The only human on that SD card is me, so that's a good sign. So we're gonna leave it at that for a little while. So I've got the trail camera up that direction about 75 yards. And it looks like they're just using that as a travel corridor. Now we got a fresh scrape. It's a good one. And they're coming down through here. You can hear I'm not that far from the highway. I know the acorns were dropping down in here last year. And there's acorns still everywhere from last year. Old acorns. So we'll see what happens this year. I don't know if the acorns are gonna be dropping right here at this particular area. But this is that secondary trail that runs up parallel with the trail that I have my camera on. And you can see down here, there's sign everywhere. Rubs from this past year. And these are some good rubs. There's some good bucks in here doing that. And there's the third trail that runs parallel with the camera. Some more rubs. 
another rub and there's a spot over here on the opposite side of the ridge that we want to try to get in and hunt i want to get in here and check this out and see what kind of sign we can find so i'm really hoping this is one of those overlooked spots and we're just getting lucky in here that's kind of the only reason i put that sd camera in here only a few spots in here where it opens up like this but it gets real thick laurel dogwood everything's getting super green in here we're just starting to come into summer yeah, there's a scrape I'm kind of hoping that they're using this as another travel corridor like easy access especially when we get closer to right when they really want to start moving so they're not crashing through all this real thick stuff they got all these open super highway trails from deer crazy this, this looks like a pretty old log road but i'm not quite sure that's what we're gonna figure out Just come out of that little spot over there where there was a bunch of rubs and scrapes. You can see some fresh deer tracks right here. They're using this pretty hard. Let's go a little bit further, see what's going on. There's a good ridge system right up here in the top of the mountain. It might be about a half a mile, maybe a little more. And there's a small stream that runs down through here and it splits off closer as it gets to the bottom. There's a ton of acorn flats up there, white oaks, red oaks. And there's some super heavy trails like this coming down the west side of this ridge and also over on the east side of that ridge. And it's pretty interesting because I'm seeing all the buck sign over where my trail camera's at. I'm not seeing a whole lot of buck sign in here. Fresh tracks though. I'll just go a little bit further. See what we find. Yeah, this definitely gotta be an old log road. You see the deer using this quite a bit. Crazy how the deer are keeping this path wide open right here. And what's even more interesting is I'm not seeing any rubs or scrapes right here. And I walked about a hundred yards on this trail. Oh, we're getting some heavier tracks. Oh, here we go. Check this out. This one's been used for a while. Look how high that is. That's insane. That's a good rub right there. That's pretty interesting. I'm at about 150 yards on this trail. Seeing the tracks I get in here. Saw that one lonely rub. The sign that I'm seeing is telling me that mostly does are using this. That's pretty interesting. Now the trail is starting to narrow down quite a bit, but it's still a super heavy trail. There's a little valley right here. A ridge line here, about 200 yards that direction, there's another ridge. It's kind of like a funnel right here. So I think a lot of deer, come when they come from the top up there, 
coming down the edge of this finger, hitting this trail, and they're coming down the edge of the other finger. And they're probably using the bottom of that ridge right up there for bedding. That's pretty interesting. The further into summer we get, the less I'm gonna be in here. But this mountain, straight up, actually it was Christmas Eve we scouted that spot. We found some huge buck sign up there. We have a bunch of good spots on public land around here. And every year we try to add in a few more good public land hunting spots. We haven't hunted this at all yet up in here. We're still trying to feel it out, scout it, figure out how the deer are moving in here. Once we get to about August, we should have it pretty much figured out. Decide whether or not we're gonna get in here and hunt it. This was a good little walk. I've been in this trail already, down the bottom side, but I never come up this far. I figured since it's raining today, it'd be a good day to push up in here and see what's going on. I love sharing these stories with you guys. I love just being out here. This is what I live for. Whether we see deer or not, whether we kill deer or not, always fun sharing these stories. Pretty much learn something new every time I come out scouting. If you guys can take something away from some of the stories I share through my scouting or my hunting experiences, great i appreciate you watching because i know i get a lot of good information off of some of these other outdoor channels I've got a good tight hunting community there's no better way to learn through our mistakes our experiences and also learning through all of our outdoor channels and hunting channels and it's pretty awesome watching all these outdoor channels and hunting channels grow and all learn together. The way everybody shares all their content it just makes hunting and outdoors that much better. I love what's happening to this hunting community. I'll keep sharing my stories and my experiences. I'll also keep watching yours if you have an outdoor or hunting channel because there's always something to learn. So till next time, I'll see you guys later.